Welcome back. In the last video, we installed VAMP server onto your computer. In this video, we are going to create our first PHP project. So let's start. As you already know, PHP is a server-side scripting language. So it can't be run directly from your computer. That's why we installed a server called VAMP server onto your computer. Now that server will create a local server on your computer and your browser will be used as a client. So effectively what you will do is as a user you will request the page using your browser and your computer will also act as a server to serve the pages. Okay. So now any PHP project that you are going to create from now onwards will be saved inside C drive, inside VAMP directory and inside VAMP inside www. So we will double click and over here as you can see there are a lot of folders already present yours must be having only two to three folders the reason there are so many folders because i've already worked on many projects okay so now what i want to do is i would like to create a new folder and i'll name it as php php demo press enter so this is the folder inside which will store all our php files Okay, so now let's go to sublime text inside sublime text. You have to go to file open folder from folders. You have to go to www inside VAMP and you have to search for the folder that you just created that is PHP demo. It's here. Okay, so we'll click on OK, a new window will be opened. We'll cancel the previous window and maximize the new one. So now as you can see in the current PHP demo uh, folder, there are no files. So what we will do is we'll click quickly create a new file and save it as hello world.php. Remember this time we are not creating an extension of .html instead we are going to create an extension of .php So as a uh, rule of thumb you have to remember this whenever you are using PHP Even if it's a single piece of code you have to create a .php extension otherwise PHP will not work Okay, so now let's quickly create the first Program in PHP that is the hello world program. So how would you create a PHP program? to Tell the browser to tell the app server that the program is in the PHP. What you have to do is you have to start your program like this and you have to close your program like this. So this basically tells that anything inside over here is written in PHP. So this has to be done for every program that you will do in PHP. Okay. So now inside over here, if you want to print a string called hello world, what you have to do is you have to just write echo double inverted commas and inside over there whatever you want to print double okay this is it the simplest php program ever echo in php is a function which basically displays uh, whatever is written inside over here onto the screen onto the browser window okay to see the output of the program you have to visit a url called local host slash the name of your directory that is php demo slash the name of your file that is hello underscore world dot php and you have to press enter and you get the hello world sign okay now you have to take care of two things first of all whenever you are running uh, a php code you have to make sure that your vamp server is running a green W means the VAMP server is working. So what I have done is I have already started it before recording this video. So you have to do that prior to the coding part. You have to just go to your start menu and you have to type VAMP and you have to press enter. A pop up will appear. You have to click on yes. Since I have already uh, started it, I won't click on yes. Okay. So this is how you start VAMP server. This is the first thing that you have to take care of. The second thing is that uh, before this video in every video that we created what we used to do was we used to go to and double click directly on the file name remember you don't have to do that in PHP otherwise it won't work 
because you have to understand the setup the setup is like this that inside your browser you are the client if you remember whenever you want a file from any specific website say facebook or google you type it over here you don't go to their server and browse for the file like this and double click okay if you will double click on this what will happen is the entire php code will appear on the browser window which is very very bad so what you have to do is you have to go and type over here otherwise it won't work so we have created our first program that is hello world now let's create a small comment a comment in php is created using double forward slash and you can write anything this is an echo statement this is a single line php comment if you want to make a multi line php comment you have to put a forward slash asterisk whatever you want to write and then this this is how you add a multi line php comment so single line php comment and multiple line php comment okay great now that you are aware of comments and how to create a basic file in php let's move forward okay so now let me show you a small demonstration which you will be using a lot uh, throughout your career okay so now if you can see hello world is printed in a small font what if i want this to be printed in h1 you must have done the h1 tags in html i want this to be printed in h1 tags so what should i do you can implement a very simple technique that is you write html inside the double quotation marks double inverted commas save reload and now you can see it's in h1 what if i want to make it bold so i can use the b tag save reload and now it's in bold so what i want to show you is <clears throat> that you can use html inside php and this will add a great deal of flexibility into your coding okay so let's see how does it works okay as i have already told you that php always runs on the server so when someone hits this url the request from the client's computer goes to the server and now the server detects okay the user wants this file and now whatever is written inside this file is executed and it's written that the user wants to see this stuff and this particular thing uh, whatever i have selected is sent to the browser and the browser gets this particular text and now this particular text means it's a html tag so the user the browser renders this text to be bold and similarly in the case of h1 or any other tag so always remember this the output of a php file is sent to the browser and then there it is displayed so if you are sending output as a html the browser will render that html and display the same page so in a way i am trying to say is you can create an entire page inside over here and you can send it to the browser and it will be displayed over there as it is okay so this is the first thing now uh, let's do one more thing we have done html inside php let's do php inside html so what if i have a html file with a head tag with a title of say php inside html and now in the body we have a h1 and in the h1 tag we are going to add say php inside html demo and in the uh, now what we want is just below this h1 we want to print hello world using php okay so now what you can do is you can write php echo hello world semicolon php tags closed so basically we started the php script wrote the code and closed it all within the html let's save this and let's reload and see how it looks 
and as you can see we are getting it perfectly all right so now you have learned two things how to use HTML inside PHP and how to use PHP inside HTML trust me these two things will help you a lot uh, in uh, web programming 